A biologist focused on fish says an invasive species in Alabama is now threatening waterways in East Tennessee. The silver carp destroys critical parts of the food chain. It also poses a physical threat to people when it leaps out of the water and then crashes into passing boaters. The cost to lake based businesses can run in the billions of dollars. Tennis reporter Sean Franklin explains. It's quiet and calm out here on Watts Bar Lake, but one fishery biologist says that may not always be the case if we don't stop a particular invasive species. This is one fight you wouldn't win. It's a 30 pound projectile hitting you in the face. They have literally broken jaws. Dr. Timothy Joseph knows the silver carp is a formidable opponent. Not only do they take over the ecology and destroy that, they have a unique ability to jump out of the water whenever they're afraid. A female silver carp can lay up to five million eggs at once. That makes it easy to destroy lake environments and economies quickly. Joseph says they're coming for East Tennessee. They're in Wheeler Reservoir, that's in Alabama. If they get into Guntersville, then they're gonna get up into Chickamauga. And from Chickamauga near Chattanooga, they would head to the big lakes here in East Tennessee. Joseph recently took his concerns to the Kingston City Council. The council passed a resolution asking state and federal lawmakers for money to find a solution. For Joseph, the solution is installing nearly $20 million electrical barriers that shock the fish and temporarily disable them. There's a fallacy that you can be electrocuted. Impossible. It would be disturbing, but you could swim right through it. People have swum through these. He estimates the barriers would prevent an economic loss of about $1.3 billion at the five main reservoirs in East Tennessee. That includes losses from marinas, the value of lakefront properties going down, and the impact on sport fishing. It'll be major. I mean, you'll have businesses going out of, uh, literally going out of business. Joseph says the Roan County Commission will look at the proposed resolution on Thursday. Back to you.